One of the earliest pop culture phenomenons that predates Star Wars and even Beatlemania was on December of 1954, when children all over the country were introduced to American folk hero Davy Crockett. Crockett was a man from the backwoods of Tennessee. He fought in the Indian Wars, became a congressman, and was ultimately gunned down by Mexicans while defending the Alamo. Many actors have played this character, from John Wayne to Billy Bob Thornton, but for me, and I think everybody else agrees, that an actor named Fess Parker is the true Davy Crockett. It began as a TV miniseries for a TV show called Disneyland, and Walt Disney was looking for financing for his theme park in California. Disney's contract with ABC gave him $100,000 per episode. Walt spent more than $700,000 for the three Crockett episodes, mostly because he went out and shot on location in North Carolina and in Tennessee. Another reason was that the episodes were shot in color, when color TV didn't exist back then. Did you know that actor Buddy Epson was to play Davy Crockett? But when Walt saw Gordon Douglas's movie Them, Walt said, Fess Parker is my Davy Crockett. Buddy Epson wound up playing Davy's sidekick, George E. Russell. And of course, there's that kick ass song by George Bruns and Thomas Blackburn. Born on a mountaintop in Tennessee, green estate in the land of the free. Raised in the woods, so he knew every tree. Killed him a bar when he was only three. Davy, Davy Crockett, king of the wild frontier. Many versions of the song had been recorded and remained on the hit parade for months. Of course, every kid on the block needed a coonskin cap. All in all, over $300 million in Crockett merchandise were sold. Much like the Star Wars phenomenon, the Crockett craze was totally unexpected. If Walt had known that Crockett was going to be this big a hit, he wouldn't have killed him off in the third episode. So Walt did two more episodes depicting Davy's early adventures, where he matched wits with Mike Fink, King of the River. Girls run and hide, brave men shiver, I'm Mike Fink. King of the River. Walt was also able to take the episodes, recut them, and show them in movie theaters. Check in for part two, and I'll talk all about them.